So there are two ways to modify a Nerf gun. One is to make sure that the spring can supply more power, and the other way is to make sure that that power is supplied through all the air into the dart. So today we'll focus more on how the spring operates. So let's look back on high school physics, namely this equation, F equals Kx. F stands for force, or the amount of uh, power that is put into the dart. K is the amount of strength a spring has, and X is the amount a spring is compressed or changed from its original position. So as you can see, to increase the force, we either have a stronger spring or we compress the spring a bit more. Now, in all Nerf guns, there are springs that supply the force to propel the air, which then pushes the dart out. So if we maximize that, then we can maximize our force in throwing the dart and getting the most distance as possible. We begin by taking apart the gun through the four screws on the back of the gun. The four screws hold a plate that holds the spring in place. By popping off the plate, the spring comes out with it. You can see the, the difference in the old spring and the new spring. The old spring was pretty easy to, to compress. The new spring is a lot stiffer and a lot harder to, to compress. We put the new spring into the gun, put the plate back on, and screw in the four screws, and test the gun out. So the spring I put in here is a lot stiffer than the old, old one. And so the problem with that is, it's not really suited for children to use, and so basically that makes it ineffective. The other problem was that this spring was so st strong and stiff that this little plunger on the inside would bind and catch on this little trigger mechanism. This little trigger mechanism right here. And what that did was you couldn't pull the trigger to release that plunger and allow the air to come out. So what I did was I shaved that little trigger down a tiny bit so it would be easier to pull and release the plunger. Problem with that was I took a little bit too much material out and now it just doesn't want to prime. So basically I broke it. So, moral of the story is, whenever you're modifying something, things may go wrong. And when that happens, the backup plan is to buy a new one. <laughs>